Okay, I am uh, here with a tutorial of Pro Tools and Contact. And I want to show you guys how to use Contact in Pro Tools in terms of using the Contact as a multi timbral instrument. All right. So I'm sure most of you already know how to do this. So this is going to be a real, real, a real quick tutorial. All right. So. First thing you do, of course, you open your session, you open up a new track, and of course, it's going to be instrument, the instrument track, stereo. And um, now, how many tracks? That's up to your own liking. I'm going to do six, all right? All right, so I got my six tracks here. Let me maximize the uh, track size here. Not necessarily maximize it, but uh, make it big enough so y'all can get a good view of what's going on. All right, so six instrument tracks, all right? And the next thing I'm gonna do is, of course, insert contact into uh, this slot here. All right, contact loads up, all right? And let me move that out the way. And what I'm gonna do is, in this area right here, I'm going to click and have the instrument column show. All right, since I got contact loaded up on this, uh, on instrument one track, I'm going to load up a random sound here. All right, that's loaded up. So once I play something, all right, so you hear something from that track. All right, and all I have to do is go to the next instrument that I want to load and click on it. <clears throat> now, what I need to do inside of Contact is assign the output to another output so that it can have its own output. So, Stereo 2. Um, let me actually show you how I assign my output. What I did in Contact is I created uh, these tracks and I made them all stereo. And actually, if you click in this area right here, I can name them whatever I want. All right, so the ST stands for stereo one, stereo two, stereo three, so on and so on. All right. So I got this going to the output labeled stereo two. And here, my mini channel is already assigned to channel two. This one is assigned to channel one. So what I need to do is go to this second track here, uh, right here in the MIDI output, channel two. And here is, I need to patch in my stereo two. So when I arm that, you should be able to hear. Right, and let me go back to stereo one. All right, real simple, real easy. Uh, you just basically create an instrument track and load contact in one time and load instruments accordingly and assign the MIDI output and the audio input. All right, so simple enough, real easy, okay? Y'all have a good one.